In this video, we are going to talk about things to do in Turk and Caicos. So before starting this video, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for the future updates. Here are so many fun and exciting things to do on Providentials. Due to the beautiful marine environment of the Turks and Caicos, it's no surprise that everything shown here revolves around the ocean. These are just our favorites. Be sure to also check out things to do on Providentials and things to do in the Turks and Caicos for more great ideas on sites, attractions, and activities. The Turks and Caicos is an amazing destination for water sports. There's snorkeling, kayaking, paddleboarding, clear kayaking, freediving, fishing, kiteboarding, sailing, wakeboarding, and more. Number 10. Discover our spectacular beaches. There are so many incredible beaches in the Turks and Caicos, and on the island of Providentials, all with beautiful turquoise clear waters to go swimming in. The unparalleled Grace Bay Beach is the general favorite, but many smaller and secluded beaches can be found on Providentials. All the beaches in the country are public and free to access, and are never crowded. Discover your own piece of paradise. Some of the best beaches on Providentials include world-famous Grace Bay Beach, Calm Sapadilla Bay and Taylor Bay, Long Bay Beach, Leeward Beach, Malcolm's Road Beach, and the Bight Beach. Exceptional coasts on other islands in the Turks and Caicos are Mud Gin Harbour, Bambara Beach, Little Ambergris Key, the sandbars at Fort George Key and Pine Key, and the Shallow Channel and Bar Systems at Parrot Key, and Sandy Point Beach on North Caicos. Number 9. Take a boat cruise to the Caicos Keys. There's a wonderful collection of small keys between Providentials and North Caicos, and these beautiful islands offer miles of spectacular and deserted white sand beaches. Discover perfect turquoise waters, snorkeling reefs, and the indigenous Turks and Caicos rock iguanas. Possible destinations include the Iguana Sanctuary of Little Water Key, the beach and lagoon at Half Moon Bay, the secluded and amazing beach at Water Key, the exquisite sandbars and sunken cannons at Fort George Key, and the vibrant corals and fish at the Leeward Reef snorkeling site. Excursions visiting the south coast of Providentials have a totally different set of sites and attractions, from the wrecked La Famal Express freighter ship, to the breathtaking blues of West Caicos, and the West Caicos Marine National Park, the cave and historical features of West Harbor Bluff, the Iguana Island of Bay Key, and snorkeling sites that include Turtle Rock, beautiful reefs, and shipwrecks. Number 8. Boat Cruises and Charters. The reefs around the Turks and Caicos are amazing, offering an abundance of crystal clear water, fish and sea animals, and healthy coral. Taking a boat snorkeling cruise often makes for a great underwater experience, as you won't have to search for the reefs, and the offshore sites are often livelier than reefs near the beach. On snorkeling boat trips, you also may encounter one of our friendly wild Atlantic bottlenose dolphins. We have two that interact with people, the famous Jojo the dolphin and the new baby dreamer. The Grace Bay and Leeward Barrier Reef snorkeling sites combine tranquil beds of yellow and purple sea fans that wave back and forth with the swell, and intricate coral gullies and caves, which are topped with colorful corals. Schools of fish, stingrays, turtles, nurse sharks, and lobsters can be seen across the reefs. Number 7. Snorkeling Boat Excursions. Just a 30-minute ferry ride from Providentials are the quiet islands of North Caicos and Middle Caicos. The two islands are less developed than Providentials and feature great landscapes, secluded beaches, old plantations, and Conchbar Caves, one of the largest dry cave systems in the Caribbean. Number 6. Kayak or Paddleboard in the Wetlands. The Turks and Caicos supports an amazing network of mangrove wetlands and tidal channels, and these pristine waterways act as the nurseries for many types of sea life. A guided excursion into these shallow wetlands will allow you to spot wildlife close up in their natural environment. On a good day expect to see juvenile sharks and turtles, conchs, barracudas, bonefish, starfish, stingrays, and birdlife.
If you're lucky enough to be hitting the Turks and Caicos during the high season months between January and April each year, when the weather sits in the cool mid-twenties and the trade breezes bring soothing winds off the Atlantic, then be sure to make a beeline for the southern island of Salt Key. Here, visitors can either charter their own whale spotting boat or stand on the rugged, salt sprayed cliffs and look out to the Turks head passage that connects the Western Caribbean to the waters around Hispaniola, spotting pods of majestic humpback whales as they drift southward to give birth in the warm waters of Silver Banks. Number 5. Snorkel from the Beach. A great compliment to a snorkeling cruise is to visit some of the beach reefs in the Turks and Caicos. Providentials has some really beautiful sites, where large numbers of colorful reef fish, stingrays, turtles, and lobsters are easy to approach and see. The Bite Reef, also known as Coral Gardens, is the most popular and easiest to access of the beach reefs, and is located on the western end of Grace Bay. Smith's Reef, found near Turtle Cove, is even more extensive and complex than the Bight Reef, albeit a little harder to find. Last but not least is Malcolm's Road and Northwest Point. This is a spectacular area, yet quite remote. There's clear water and a wide array of life, including small and mid-sized sharks. Number 4. Beach Snorkeling Guide. There's a reason many parasail boats can be seen operating in Grace Bay every day, Gliding at 200 feet, 60 meters, in the air over Grace Bay is an amazing experience. Get a bird's eye view of the beach, resorts, barrier reef, and larger sea animals in the water below. The incredibly turquoise Chalk Sound National Park offers some of the most vibrant water you'll see anywhere. This sheltered lagoon is home to hundreds of tiny islands, a vast blue hole underwater cave, a submerged plane wreck, and even the Turks and Caicos rock iguana. Two beautiful beaches are also located nearby, Sapadilla Bay and Taylor Bay. Number 3. Taylor Bay Beach. Scuba diver at the wall on French Key with coral and sea sponges diving at the wall off French Key. Scuba diving there are so many beautiful and vibrant reefs to explore in the Turks and Caicos. Sites spread across over 80 miles, 129 kilometers, of barrier reef are regularly visited by dive boats from Providentials. If you haven't yet begun to scuba dive, several local dive shops offer open water and DSD courses. Great dive spots are found in the West Caicos Marine National Park, at Northwest Point, in the Princess Alexandra National Park, and at the remote French Key. Number 2. West Caicos Marine National Park. Horseback riding in the Turks and Caicos horseback riding at Long Bay Beach, Providentials. Horseback riding at Long Bay another great activity is horseback riding in the shallow turquoise waters of Long Bay Beach. Provo Ponies is the island's primary stable and their ponies and horses are well trained and enjoy wading in the ocean just as much as the riders. Number 1. Horseback riding. There's no denying it, jet skis can be a lot of fun. There are so many spectacular places to explore in the Turks and Caicos. Take a guided trip to uninhabited keys, secluded beaches, the La Famal Express shipwreck, West Harbor Bluff, and more. The Turks and Caicos doesn't have any impressive forts or monuments, yet there are some fascinating historical sites to be seen. The island of Grand Turk has some of the better sites, such as the Grand Turk Lighthouse, the Turks and Caicos National Museum, the Victorian era HM Prison, and the colonial oceanfront Cockburn Town, yet Providentials and our other islands all have some interesting places. On Providentials, there's Cheshire Hall Plantation, and on North Caicos and Middle Caicos is Wade's Green Plantation and Hallover Plantation, and Yankee Town on West Caicos is accessible by boat from Providentials. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.